Hello, my name is Davide from uh, Monocilindro and uh, today I'm going to show you how I performed the simulation of this uh, uh, new Fuelino Proto 3 board. Okay, as you can see, uh, I connected to the board the SD card module to log data and uh, this is how the board looks like. So there are uh, um, some inputs on the left side from here the battery comes then also the ground and also the injector input and the output uh, okay so forget about this it's just uh, I, um, it's connected to nothing just uh, to ground and uh, I would like to show you how I simulate the system in my house uh, before connecting it to the motorcycle uh, first of all, I have um, a Pico Dr. Duck um, simulation tool. This is a, a signal generator plus uh, oscilloscope. So I use the signal generator in order to um, create uh, the injector signal coming from the original ECU and send it to the uh, Fuelino input. Then Fuelino calculates the how the um, real injector signal should be and sends it back to the oscilloscope as well as uh, to this LED and uh, um, relay, 12 volt relay, which I use uh, as a load. Um, then I would like to show you how the signal looks like. Uh, so first of all, I start the signal here and uh, I choose, uh, okay, the, the frequency is already is already um, uh, set so 10 Hertz corresponds to um, one injection every 100 millisec which corresponds to uh, 1200 rpm because uh, um, you have to keep in mind that uh, uh, one injector one injection is performed uh, every two crankshaft uh, uh, rotations okay so uh, now I trigger the signal here Okay, so this is how the signal looks like. Uh, I can also increase the frequency here, for example. This is 20 Hz. You can see also that, uh, that uh, the sound has changed. And 30, 40, 50, and so on. Now it's getting <laughs> really loud, so I, I reduce to 10 Hz. This corresponds roughly to an idle situation. Uh, in which the engine is rotating uh, at about uh, 1500 rpm so very close uh, as you can see here uh, okay so just a second because the <laughs> the phone is strange okay so um, as you can see there are two leds one is the yellow led which is the input and the other one is the uh, green LED which is the output that is uh, going to the real injector so, so by checking the status of these two LEDs you can also see uh, how uh, Fuelino is performing the injection then I connected uh, on this side uh, another LED as a load and uh, also this uh, 12 volt relay this is why uh, in the oscilloscope uh, waveform uh, you can see this shape okay so you can you can notice that when the oscilloscope uh, is um, when the signal is dropping from uh, uh, 12 volt to 0 volt this is when the injector is um, is turning on so sorry i, I stopped because uh, it's really loud. Okay, so when, when the signal um, drops to zero volt, uh, it means that the MOSFET is closed, so the current fl starts to flow into the injector and the injector is uh, um, starts to open. Then the injector opens and the gasoline flows. Okay, in this case, it's just a relay, of course, but in the real engine, it will be a, a real injector. Uh, so the gasoline flows and then here after uh, in this case uh, how much is it uh, it's five milli five milli uh, seconds per div so this is uh, 10 roughly 10 milliseconds 
uh, two divs. After 10 milliseconds, the Fuelino is uh, stopping the, the um, is, is opening the MOSFET uh, and trying to stop the injector. And in this case, you can see that there is a um, how can you say? I can say an over voltage, a spike, and this spike is limited by the Zener diodes uh, networks, uh, networks uh, one for each um, injector. But in our case, uh, in this case, I am using only one. So the voltage here is clamped at uh, about 40, 48, 48 volts because I. I put four diodes in series, so that's why uh, you can see these. Uh, uh, how can I say this? Yeah, the, the signal is is uh, fixed to forty eight volt for some for uh, some um, hundreds of uh, microseconds. This is the time when the current is discharging. So the the current in the injector. Um, is falling from uh, roughly one ampere in uh, the case of Honda CBR 125 to um, zero, and then the the voltage on the Zener diodes is decreasing. So here you can suppose that the injector is uh, is closed, and then you can see that the voltage is uh, uh, coming back again to about 12 volt. Uh, okay, so um, I'm finished for today. And uh, please follow me on the website. And uh, if you would like to receive this um, uh, this board, please contact me, and uh, we can test it together. Okay. Uh, thank you very much.